Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this video tutorial session, we will see how to install Kali Linux on VMware Workstation Pro. The first prerequisite, if you have not installed VMware Workstation Pro, so please watch my video and just install the VMware Workstation Pro first and then begin with me here for the installation of Kali Linux. Let's get started. First thing first, we need to download the Kali Linux. So open your favorite browser. Go to the search bar and press type Kali Linux download, press enter. Then you will see results. So please open the first one, getkali.org, right? This one. Open a new tab and you will see the official download page, right? And on the left hand side, we have the installer images but we are not going to proceed with this because we are using the virtual machine so we will download the virtual machine ready image which is recommended simply click on it and then you will see here the virtual machine ready is here so select the vm where when you click you will get multiple options this is pre-built vms means already recommended settings prepared vm file is available okay let's download it simply click on it you can see this is 3.2 gb and this is a zip file inside this we have the kali linux virtual machine image as well so file size is big i have already downloaded this file and let me take you there in the download folder you will see this kind of file will be downloaded and the size is 3.25 but this is zip file so you have to extract this then you need to do a right click and choose the option extract all okay then you can extract somewhere on your drive so i have extracted and then you will find this kind of folder let's move inside when you will extract you will see the size this is 13.8 gb that's why it comes in a zip format okay let's move inside you will see lots of files are there okay don't worry i will tell you which one you have to choose and use okay no problem go back to your vmware workstation and we will create virtual machine here for kali linux previously we were created ubuntu installation virtual machine right so we will use the same but this time we will click on this open virtual machine button once you will click this will show you a browse box and here you have to go inside the folder the download folder which we have just downloaded when you go inside you will see this kind of file with extension dot vmx please select it and click open okay so this will show you this kind of settings here on the left hand side this is ready-made virtual machine file right so by default memory allocated is 2 gb processors core 4 hard disk space is 80.1 gb right and if you want the better performance then you can simply edit this virtual machine settings at here the same place you can see at the top there's option edit virtual machine settings when you click on it then you will get a pop-up window with some parameters so here you can change these parameters you want to increase or decrease right let's increase the memory processor score is sufficient and if you need more you can simply add it if you add more processors this will increase the performance of your kali linux operating system right and the disk size is sufficient Simply click OK if you are done and we are here ready to launch the machine. Now you can see here the state of this machine is powered off. 
Now we have to power on this virtual machine. You can simply go on this, but click on this button, power on the virtual machine. Now click on this pop-up box, click OK. And then you will see this kind of progress here. And soon you will see the first interface of Kali Linux. Press enter. After one or two seconds, this will, this will automatically accept and will start your Kali Linux boot process. Soon you will see this dragon icon at the center of your screen. That means boot process is on. Soon you will see a login screen like you have to give a username and the password for the default user and password you have to type kali and the password will be kali right click on this login wait for a few seconds then you will get the interface of kali linux this is launched and this is working now you can proceed with your working with the Kali Linux. Let's open a terminal. Okay, if you want to use the Kali Linux in a full screen mode, you can simply go on the top and click on this, maximize or the use full screen mode. And this will be expanded to your full screen. And here, if you click, you will see the pre-installed applications. Now you can simply click and launch the application, whatever you want to use. It's simple. Okay, if you want to resize it back, simply click, click here, exit full screen, and this will be resized. And this will it will show you the VM machine and inside the box so friends this way you can install kali linux on vmware workstation pro 17 i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button to appreciate and you can subscribe to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool it help